Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving how to find acceleration from a velocity time graph. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says the velocity time graph for an object moving to the right is shown below. Find its acceleration. So you can see in this graph that we have a uniform or constant acceleration over the 10 seconds. And I'm going to show you the two different methods that we can use to calculate acceleration. So firstly, remember we have the gradient method. So finding the gradient of the line. So if we do that, we could choose two points in the line. So I'm going to choose x1, y1 to be 0, 0. And another point we could choose is the point 10, 20. So just to show you that on the graph, we've got the point 0, 0 on the line. That's the easiest point to choose there. And then we've got the point all the way at the other end, which is 10 along and 20 up. And then we can use the fact that acceleration is equal to the gradient of the line on a velocity time graph. So we have that this equals the change in y over the change in x, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then we'll sub in our values from here. So we have 20 minus 0 divided by 10 minus 0, and 20 divided by 10 is the same as 2 over 1, or just 2 meters per second squared. And remember acceleration is a vector, so we need to state a direction along with the magnitude. So we have 2 meters per second squared to the right, and we were told that it was moving to the right in the question. The second method is called the acceleration equation, where we can simply just use the acceleration equation and pick out the values for it from the graph. So doing that, we can write down what we know. We're trying to find acceleration. We know that initial velocity u is 0 meters per second. We know that final velocity v is 20 meters per second, and time t is 10 seconds. So just to show you that here on the graph, we have 0 meters per second for the initial velocity u. Final velocity v is the 20 meters per second here and the time is 10 seconds in total. So writing down our equation for acceleration, we have a equals v minus u over t, substituting in the numbers gives 20 minus 0 divided by 10, and that gives us the same answer as before, 2 meters per second squared to the right. So remember, you can choose whichever method you prefer here. Question 2 says the velocity time graph for an object moving to the left is shown below. Find its acceleration. So this time we've got a uniform deceleration and the object's not coming to rest. This time I'm just going to choose one of the methods. So I'm going to use the acceleration equation. So I'm going to write down that I'm trying to find the acceleration a. I know the initial velocity u of the object is 15 meters per second. And the final velocity v at this point here corresponds to roughly 5 meters per second. And that's all happening in a total time of 10 seconds. So writing down my equation, I have a equals v minus u over t. Substituting in the numbers gives 5 minus 15 divided by 10. Now we should expect a negative acceleration because we've got a slowing down of the object, a deceleration. So that is shown by this 5 minus 15 here. So that will give us minus 10 divided by 10, which is the same as minus 1 meters per second squared to the left. Now notice we've included the direction here because remember acceleration is a vector and we were given the direction in the question. Now remember another way you could do this is to find the gradient of the line and if you do that you should get the exact same answer at minus 1 meters per second squared to the left. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.